The world turned upside down at the first criminal conviction of a former American president. Here's what Donald Trump's political allies and his enemies had to say about the historic turn of events. Joe Biden was quick to comment on the guilty verdict, or at least his campaign was. The president's re-election campaign issued a statement that offered support for the verdict, while also stressing that there was only one way to prevent Trump from returning to the White House, by voting. The statement read, In New York today, we saw that no one is above the law. Donald Trump has always mistakenly believed he would never face consequences for breaking the law for his own personal gain. But today's verdict does not change the fact that the American people face a simple reality. There is still only one way to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office, at the ballot box. The second Trump term means chaos, ripping away Americans' freedoms, and fomenting political violence, and the American people were rejected this November. In a statement of his own after the verdict was read, Trump predicted things going a little differently. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people, and we'll keep fighting, we'll fight till the end, and we'll win. During his time as House Judiciary Chairman, New York Representative Jerry Nadler was a driving force behind Donald Trump's two impeachments, and he was highly critical of his perceived role in the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. So it isn't too surprising that the congressman took to social media and expressed satisfaction that Trump was convicted. Nadler wrote on X, As I've said from the beginning of this trial, no one is above the law, not even a former president. Donald Trump has now been justly convicted of election interference by a jury of his peers and can no longer escape the consequences of his actions. Our nation will not tolerate his attempts to hide his crimes from voters and subvert our elections. Other Democratic lawmakers sounded off on the matter, with California Representative Adam Schiff tweeting that the rule of law emerged victorious. Schiff wrote, Despite his efforts to distract, delay, and deny, justice arrived for Donald Trump all the same. In a separate post on X, Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy made an identical reference to the law prevailing, hinting that Trump's legal problems might be far from over. He wrote, Is this crime as serious as the others he committed? No, but the rule of law applies to everyone and this won't be the last conviction. Former Governor Ron DeSantis, a longtime supporter of Donald Trump and former rival in the Republican presidential primaries, was one of the first notable GOP lawmakers to comment publicly on Trump's conviction. In a lengthy statement shared on X, DeSantis blamed what he felt was a left-leaning justice system for the fact that Trump was found guilty in court. Today's verdict represents a culmination of a legal process that has been bent to the political will of the actors involved. A leftist prosecutor, a partisan judge, and a jury reflective of one of the most liberal enclaves in America, all in an effort to get Donald Trump. The governor also called out the political debasement he believes is rampant in places such as New York City, and speculated that if someone else was facing the same charges, they wouldn't have been convicted. He continued, In America, the rule of law should be applied in a dispassionate, even-handed manner, not become captive to the political agenda of some kangaroo court. Colorado Representative Lauren Boebert, a longtime champion of the former president, decried the verdict as just more shady tactics from Democrats. She wrote on X, The American people see through the Democrat games and know this is a sham verdict. We stand with President Donald J. Trump. In a statement, Florida Representative Matt Gates repeatedly blasted the allegedly corrupt justice process, writing, We will stand with President Trump now more than ever to save the country. Similarly, Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene said that the guilty verdict was a desperation move from the left. She wrote, Radical leftists and deep state operatives have been orchestrating this sham trial from the beginning. What do they do now that President Trump is leading in the polls and their stunt is failing? Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky was more subdued in his criticism of the verdict as he expressed optimism that things will work out for the former president. He wrote, These charges never should have been brought in the first place. I expect the conviction to be overturned on appeal. Independent candidate for the presidency Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has some thoughts of his own on the Trump verdict. When asked by reporters at an Austin, Texas cryptocurrency expo about his thoughts, Kennedy stressed that the trial is being used to divide us, as quoted by CNN. That remark aside, Kennedy took a cagey approach when talking about Trump's case, telling reporters that he prefers to discuss matters he feels are more relevant to American voters, such as the economy and health care. He said, I've been disciplined about not commenting on the court cases and talking about issues that I think are of deep concern to Americans, and not the issues that, you know, are being used to divide us, the culture war issues. I'm not going to comment on it. Although Kennedy simply chose to focus on the divisive aspects of the Trump trial, he's been outspoken in the past about his disdain for the former president. In April 2024, he countered Trump's vitriolic comments about him being a, quote, wasted protest vote by challenging his Republican opponent to a debate. At some point, I hope that he has the courage to stand up there so that we can all talk about these issues. 